I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. We saw Bombardier do its latest transformational deal over the long weekend, announcing the sale of its rail division to Alstom of France. In this transaction, worth $8.2 billion U.S., Bombardier will get a big chunk of change to pay down its debt load, which was amassed during the development of the C-Series aircraft, where it spent about $6 billion to develop that plane, which is, has uh, subsequently already sold to Airbus. The uh, deal for its rail division will see a combination with a major player in the European market, but will face major regulatory scrutiny because of competitive issues. At the same time, the Quebec Pension Fund will remain a majority shareholder, a largest shareholder, in fact, in Alstom through this deal to help protect some Canadian jobs going forward. Bombardier will remain a business jet company. Investors, not all that impressed as the share price today tumbled 8%. Over the past year, has lost more than 40% of its market value. Walmart's fourth quarter profit in the U.S. topped $4 billion. Big number for the world's biggest retailer. But with a condensed holiday sales season, it, among others in the retail sector, reported weaker than forecast overall sales results. Walmart did see a 35% increase year over year in its e-commerce. Numbers were good, not great. Share price steady today on Wall Street. Air Canada made $155 million in its fourth quarter. Good numbers for the national airline at the same time, however, the results were below forecast. And now with the coronavirus halting flights to China for Air Canada, that is going to dent the current quarter. They're saying that's going to be a major hit to the revenue, along with the ongoing grounding of the Boeing 737 MAX, which likely won't be back in service before the second half of this year. Air Canada says, though, that it's confident that consumers will regain confidence in that plane once it is recertified. Apple warned the coronavirus will hit its earnings out of China this quarter. And that is with many Apple stores closed or seeing slow business right now and its major suppliers slowing production on its highly profitable devices. Apple shares down over 2% on Wall Street today. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.